Hi everyone, uh, I've been working again today, carrying on with my uh, build of the high current uh, capacitor, capacitor transformer basically. Um, as usual, I never really plan these videos in a way, I kind of do but kind of don't. Uh, the one you most saw again, I don't think anyone actually watches these videos but looks at my counts, but, you know. There you go, that's the the official 1.3 version, the uh, official release of that time. Again, the little side idea, what I've been working across today, which I found out, if you put capacitors in series across the source, so let's say it's a car battery, um, it halves the voltage. But if you put a load of them in parallel together, they can collectively hold a lot of current and reduce the voltage uh, through also other workings and in combination of this circuit here which is a basic really 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 basic uh, regulator um, work 5 a.m. and built the thing uh, I have it lying about my room somewhere because I was using it as reference uh -huh. again that's that's the uh, Sec itself it's a bit mangled at this point because I've obviously been messing with it, but that's the brown lead is output and the input is there. You see very, very simple and this can regulate a car battery because it uses the capacitor sort of thing. When the capacitor gets charged, negative to negative it can push back on the uh, source so we can stop it dead basically. The resistor and pot discharges some of that power which allows the current and voltage to flow through so this it uses all the power that's been put into it to push back on the source no problem with that circuit uh, from that in combination with my work here of the uh, the CST um, which was the capacitor step down transformer which got changed to uh, CV DRT, CVDRT, which is the capacitor voltage dividing regulated transformer. Because with the thing I found, if I have a capacitor like this in the series, again it halves the volts and feeds into the parallel. But what will happen when you put a load onto it, this won't go whoops, you know, shoot the power out straight away. What it would do is start to feed the power in, feed it up slowly and uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. it will stop when the load has got enough power it works by resistance, the load itself acts like a giant resistor and uh, it stops the power from flowing faster than what it needs to which a transformer this is actually this is half of a, this is almost a transformer, just a single capacitor. The transformer will keep shoving that power in, it's shoving it in, and that's why everything gets hot and everything gets warm. There's a lot of loss of energy, and it's a big heavy metal piece full of copper wire and steel. I mean, why you know, it can weigh a ton. Uh, so what I've, that's for the whole idea of what I've been working on, just to simplify and make a more adaptive transformer that will work better just much 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 better and he's load friendly and that's where this comes into it which i believe is my final version i believe that this is a true cv yeah the capacitor thing in my bob the capacitor transformer but this one is a regulated one tying in i mean this, this just shows actually how quickly i can work one, two, three, end result. Um, this is, works like so. The negative is high voltage with low current. Would go into the positive as negative to positive does. The voltage is halved. In one set it's halved, if you have another one it's halved again. So uh, the low current, so the voltage would be halved. Say so 1000 volts, it would come across as 500 volts out this side here at one milliamp obviously that would uh, collect in all three of these combining together 
as the output there into a more higher current low voltage so it's 500 volts at whatever milliamps they can collect they would push it across into this capacitor now this one here if you ignore this you'll notice that it's just negative to negative positive to positive so this will build up the charge because these um ba -ba -bum, these will keep feeding the power through uh that's 50 50 actually obviously you can't run power if i didn't have that there that's how the power would go but with this that actually plays a role because uh, i've got a two in well i've i've chose to use a 2m355 uh, this version because I just drew it at the time. Uh, that in itself uh, obviously will regulate the flow of power. Now, using the again negative to positive, which this has negative to positive again, using that, I've got the negative coming out going to the collector. So when it detects a load, this will start feeding the power through. Uh, with the resistor, it gives chance for this lot to build up a good amount of charge. That's why I wanted that one there, so it could build up a really good charge. And this one could do basically the main work. Uh, that will go through to the, mind the jump, but that goes to the emitter. Um, when, so the emitter, uh, this will fill up with charge, and it's waiting to go out basically. So it's waiting to go out. Uh, the load goes to the collector, which also, when the current starts flowing, because the load is connected, it allows the power to go through at a set rate. Um, when the load gets so much, it starts draining this capacitor. So this will, it will, you know, when it's happy, it will uh, drain this one completely, so that will go on standby, and the negative will flow easily through this way to the positive out. Uh, and obviously the base, uh, the base is just the input. So it'd be like this. It's almost um, it is self-regulating because the more this draws, obviously that would draw from the capacitor. The more can go in, so then it would increase the output going across here and give the load what it wants. If it wants a small bit of power. Obviously, this capacitor will only fill up so much, which will obviously regulate the base and emitter, which will regulate the output. So you're going to give small output. <clears throat> I'm half back to explaining stuff, but basically it's an adaptive. It, it is exactly what I said it was, uh, a big-ass tile. But all this, these well, relatively few and cheap parts uh, take away a transformer, the copper wire one. Uh, it's self-regulating, so that's a regulator done. I think I can put AC through this one, but I'm not quite sure. I may need, I may need just one diode there, or just one diode there. And that means I could probably put AC through it. So that, again, in itself takes away the bridge rectifier. Uh, essentially, possibly, you're not quite sure. But then again, you can uh, do, 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 where's my silver book? I'm looking at my silver book. This is how scatterbrain I am. Right. I've found, I've found. Ah, there it is. No, that's not a good example. Here's a good example. That there, with a single diode, regulates AC, or it rectifies AC. That's it, one single part and two capacitors. Rectifier has four diodes in it, which have voltage loss, and again, heat conversion. With this, there's only one diode. The, uh, da, 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 see, this will be the positive side. And that's the negative side of the capacitors. The charge would only go this way into the negative. 
and out through the load into the positive and out back out the circuit. And when the other one wants to come the other way, it sucks I the other way as it was fast as work. It, it does rectify I just I'm really shit at explaining stuff. My apologies for my language. Again, this is the other transformer. Uh some other guy did or have shown but what's that? Don't like that, don't like uh bridge rectifiers. They're just pointless. So My videos are always hectic, guys. Don't worry about it. This is how I kind of work because, I mean, like I say, one, two, three, end result. My brain kind of works over time sometimes. And I've been working across this all day. I've got another one there, another one there. And uh, I've been messing with all this lot up here as well. <laughs> so, let's get this name right. Where's a pen? Pen. So, C dot V dot D dot R dot T. C V D R T. Yeah. I claim full development and creation rights. No big major companies may rip me off, you little fucks. And uh, if anybody wants to build this at home, have some fun, but not for uh, profiteering as such. This is a labor of love <laughs> and development. Um, also, you can buy a current through this as well because I've been building the circuit with, uh, da, 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 with the car battery. These ones, um, some of them blew up, so it can handle high current up to a certain rate. But obviously, if you really, really, really want high current, then either use a transformer or indeed add more capacitors. But that's also because I was using a high current load, so it was it was sucking power through the circuit. Uh, yeah, so that's why it blew up. So this was doing all right. That's the thing. I'll let you take a nice look at that. Be quiet for a few seconds. Uh, without a load, it was still you do its thing across here you know we still uh, collect charge into that one and it would just sort of go on standby and fill up okay the cvdrt capacitor voltage dividing regulator transformer well done all right guys um have a good night evening day and everything else take care